What's going on, everybody? This is your girl, Kebra, from MoCab Entertainment. My first stop is Real Gospel with the X-Man. My good friend Cabra Moore, never let him go. You're listening to Real Gospel. My name is the X-Man. I am your radio minister of music, and Real Gospel is the place where God gets the glory and artists tell their stories. The CD project is called Under the Influence. Okay, talk about risque. Somebody who might not be a Christian camera might look at this and pick it up by accident. You might just save a soul that way. That's right. Under the influence. <laughs> not drugs, not alcohol, but of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to Real God. Welcome back to Real Gospel. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Amen. So let's talk about this dynamic CD project that you've got and this single, Never Let Him Go. What's going on? Never Let Him Go, yes, is my single off of my new EP, Under the Influence. Never Let Him Go basically means we need to stop conforming to what man or society think of what this world is. 
But we need to never let God go because God is the healer, the ruler. He's the healer. He's the answer to all of our problems. And we just never, never let him go. That's just basically the word. The word is never let him go. And that's just basically the song, never let him go. So what was the inspiration behind this? And by the way, if you're just joining us for Real Gospel and you're saying, well, what's going on? I just, he introduced her, but he didn't introduce her. Let me go back. Let me, let me walk backward because, you know, I've been knowing you for a little while now. And so um, yeah. you had a, a previous CD project that we played here for some, for some time. It did extremely well. You're back. You're rejuvenated. Uh, you're reloaded. And you have a new CD project. And that's what we're talking about. But there's something different about this project. Um, for those who don't know, you're in a wheelchair. And, Correct, yes, and I'm in a wheelchair. Your first CD project, we couldn't tell that you were in a wheelchair. So what? what why the change? Um, you know what? That's a good question. I, <laughs> I had a, a, a problem. I suffer with um, low self-esteem. I had a problem with, even though, like, when you see me, I'm in a wheelchair. You see me out and about. But I never wanted it to be on my CD cover. And then I realized, you know what, well, this is my brand. This is my inspiration. This is what people look at. I inspire so many people throughout the world. So I'm not going to, you know, fool myself anymore. Like, look, this is who you are. You know, you had something that happened. I was in a car accident that made me paralyzed. And it didn't kill me. So you know what? I'm still here. I still can bless people. I'm still, you know, doing, my, doing the gifts that God given me. So why not show my whole self and this is what it is. I'm in a wheelchair. So I decided on this cover that I was going to show everybody that I'm in a wheelchair. So this is me. This is all you're going to get. I'm an open book. Amen. You know, uh, for people who don't know, I'm going to share the story because when you were in town last time before, because we broadcast from the campus of Fisk University here in Nashville, Tennessee, you and your husband came and you 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 worship with us at our church, Cathedral of Praise. And there's a yes. young lady who uh, who attends service every Sunday. Her name is Sister Karen, and Sister Karen is in a wheelchair. And Sister Karen never misses a Sunday. She. She's more faithful than, than than those than some people who have opportunity to be at service, and so um, you inspired her. Uh, she, you, you, did you get to meet her? Yes, yes, I remember her. We took pictures together. I okay. gave her a couple of CDs and the magazines, and yes, I do remember Sister Karen. Hey, man, because she talked about you for a long time and how you inspired her, and so that is uh, a tremendous blessing. And so she's still going strong. I just wanted to uh, to mention that in case she's listening right now, and um, but you have inspired people, myself, and people like her who just uh, sometimes when things happen to us in life is one thing that to get up and listen to a sermon about how to overcome and and to continue to praise the Lord despite your obstacles. But you are living proof that um, never let him go, that despite the obstacles that that can happen in your life, that you continuously give God the praise. And I just want to say thank you for being able to do that. Thank you for being the living, tangible example that we can look, touch and feel and say, you know, a Kerbera is still going strong. And I know every day is not howdy, howdy and and it's not a, a, a great day, but nonetheless, you still continue to press toward the mark. Give us, talk to us about your, your testimony. Okay, thank you so much for, you know, saying the things that you said about me. Um, I just, like I said, I was involved in a car accident in um, 1999, which paralyzed me from the waist down. And, you know, like you said, every day it is, it is, it seems to be a struggle. But it gets better and better as time goes on. I mean, I have my bad days when I'm frustrated because I do have two boys and I have a husband. And sometimes it's things that an able-bodied person can do that I'm not able to do. So it's fair to say that I do have my struggles. But at the end of the day, God still allowed me to be here. And so I take every day and I, I embrace every day with the things that God has blessed me with. And God has blessed me with the opportunity to minister from my wheelchair. And so I look at it as, you know what? I'm here. God gave me the gift. I'm going to take my gift and I'm going to advance the kingdom with it. Amen. Listen, while, while you were speaking, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said and, and showed me mocap. When we spoke before, we didn't talk about mocap. What, what okay, uh, what is mocap? I know it's your label, but what is mocap and how did mocap come to be? 
Yeah, Mocap Entertainment is my label, and how we got the name Mocap, well, my last name is Moore, and my first name is Cabra. So my husband, um, his name is Marcus, and a lot of people um, that know him, um, they call him Mo. And, they, and a lot of people that call me call me Cab, so we came up with Mocap. And so <laughs> that's the story behind Mocap Entertainment. That's how we got that name. And how long has your label been around? For 14 years. 14 years. Tell us the story. Because, see, I, th this is incredible because I got a chance to meet your husband. A, a wonderful guy. Excellent guy. Uh, Marine. Uh, simplify. Um, you know, how did MoCap, how did y'all come? What, what was the inspiration? What made y'all want to start a label? I was the first artist on the label. And so, you know, doing our research, talking to people, people giving us the right steps and the right tools in order to create the label with me being the artist, him being the manager, and us having the label. And it was just basically talking to friends that we knew in the industry when we were first getting started. You know, we made a lot of mistakes um, as we started it with our label. That as time went on, God gave us wisdom, God gave us discernment to press on, and Mocap Entertainment just got bigger and bigger as we, you know, made good decisions. Amen, amen. If you're just joining us on Real Gospel, I'm speaking to recording artist and, and child of God extraordinaire, Kebra, and uh, she's got a new project out called Under the Influence, and um, Get Up, I Have Changed, Testimony, and of course I remember Beautiful, so uh, yeah. talk to us about these other songs in the project, and, and what was your inspiration for them? Okay, um, so like you said, you heard Never Let Them Go and Beautiful. Get Up was actually a track that was, um, I had the track for a while, and um, I had been contemplating about recording, and I just couldn't think of anything to write. And to be honest, to be honest with you, most of my songs, of course, come from the Holy Spirit, but most of my songs come when I'm like driving down the road somewhere. Or it just be odd, and I just and I'll be listening to the tracks and I'll write it. So I actually um, went to North um, North Hollywood, and I have a um, music friend of mine. She used to sing back up for Whitney Houston, and now she produces. And so I emailed her the track, and I was going out there to do some other recording, and we she produced the track for me, and it turned out so well. So it's a nice urban contemporary song, make you want to dance. It's like a, uh, I call it my uh, my cha cha type dance song, my cha cha <laughs> type uh, gospel song. Okay, amen, amen. So, because I'm I'm looking at this, so you, you've got your own label. You have yes. you write your own music. Who who's doing the beats, the music? You're writing the music. Who's doing the the instruments and, and playing the instruments and coming up with the different beats for your music? I get instruments and um, tracks from all over. Um, it's a company called Globe Trackers Record out in Chicago, Illinois. I've gotten beats from um, a good friend of mine. His name is Jimmy Johnson from Psyche Music Concept down in North Carolina. Um, I've gotten actually um, music, Psyche Concepts, and um, the Globe Trackers were the main musician that was on this particular EP because they just they seem to create the style of music that I like the same. Amen, amen. How much traveling do you do? How much traveling has the Lord allowed you to do in terms of your ministry and being able to minister in front of uh, people around the country? Do you, do you get a lot of opportunity? Yes. I've Since my EP came out, I've been doing a lot of traveling, and I've just spent a week in Atlanta at the GMWA um, Gospel Announcers Guild. It was a national um, guild. Mm -hmm. And then we up here, because I'm doing a Bob the Dr. Jones taping tomorrow. And then, of course, I'll be at your church worshiping with you guys on Sunday. And then once I get back, um, I have a few things around my city in Meridian, Mississippi. Then in September, we're going to be traveling to um, St. Louis. I think we're going back to Atlanta this month. And then I'm doing a power crusade in October in Newton, Mississippi. So my calendar is basically filled almost <laughs> until the end of the year. Amen. So as far as your label is concerned, are you looking to add any artists to your label? Are you looking to sign anybody? What's, what's going on with your label? Yes, we are looking to sign anyone that wants information can go to our website at mocapentertainment.com. 
or they can go to trevormore.net and they can go to our contact page and they can contact um, management, which is Marcus Moore. Okay. And so how was Brother Marcus doing? That's a wonderful, you, you have a wonderful husband. I just want to let you know that he is a, a man of God. He is an upstanding man. He's a mentor. He is uh, just a, just all around nice guy. I just, I just want you to know that. Uh, and the fact that he's in the Marines uh, is even more inspirational because we need uh, more young black men in our military service to help our other young black men who find themselves uh, in a new way of life and sometimes yeah. the military life is not kind to us as uh, young black men I've been there I know so we need someone to sort of look out for us because it takes us sometimes it takes us time sometimes to sort of wrap our head around uh, that way of life and so I can tell you right now that he has probably saved a uh, many of a person's career by being in the Marines and have probably saved a many a person's life by being a good mentor Yes, he has. He's a very, and I tell him all the time, you know, he's a counselor to a lot of people. And, you know, because he's just that type of guy where everyone seems to want to talk to him about their problems, their issues, um, whatever, type, whatever type of advice they need. He's that go-to guy. And I love him so much because outside of him, you know, being my husband, he's one of my, he's my best friend, my lover, my, you know, just my confidant. He's, you know, he's a good father to our boys and he just... You know, he's an all-around guy, and I really appreciate everything that he does for me because, you know, he has his own dreams and aspirations and things that he wants to do in life, and he set those aside just to help me achieve my goal. Amen. Amen. So, in parting, what advice can you give the listeners out there who are aspiring artists, aspiring um, uh, people of God who want to do what you're doing, travel and, and minister to God's people around the world? What advice can you give them? Never let him go. That's the best advice I can give anybody. I'm a living testimony with this trial, with me being paralyzed, with these things that happen. If I can do it, and if I have the faith as small as a mustard seed, just never let God go. Have the faith, regardless of how hard it gets. Because, the, you know, the industry is a very is it's hard. I'm not going to sit here and lie. It's very hard. But you just have to trust in your gift that God gave you and go for your dreams. You know, my pastor out in, um, in Meridian at Freedom Rock, he always said, you know what? If God gives you the gift, go for it. He's not going to give you the gift and not allow you to use it. It's up to you to use those gifts that he's given you. You know, and I've decided, regardless of me being a paraplegic, to go after my dreams anyway. It's not going to stop me. Amen. And speaking of your pastor, give him a shout out and tell everybody what time the services are in, in Mississippi. Okay, so I am a member of Freedom Rock Christian Fellowship Church under the leadership of Liberian Hedgeman in Meridian, Mississippi. Our services are 8 o'clock services and 10, 10 15 services on Sunday, and we have our Bible study on Wednesday nights. And we just love our church family. They're very supportive from what I've you know what I'm doing with my ministry. So what up, Freedom Rock? <laughs> Amen. How can the people of God get in touch with you? What's your Facebook? What's your Twitter? What's your website? How can we find you? Okay, your girl is everywhere. Okay, first I'm on Facebook. You can like my fan page at Kebra Moore, K-E-B-R-A-M-O-O-R-E. My Twitter is also Kebra underscore Moore. It's K E B R A. M underscore M O O R E. I'm on Instagram at Kebra Moore the Artist. And you can also go on YouTube under Kebra Moore and you can check out my videos. My new current single, Never Let Him Go, is on YouTube. Go and view the video. Give me a comment. You would love the video. I incorporated some other great friends of mine that are wheelchair hip hop dancers. They're in the video when we, it's an awesome video. I saw we that. Yeah. Yeah. So. And, um, oh, and um, we're actually having a promotion contest that's going to start tonight. And basically what that is, is everyone that goes to iTunes and purchases um, under the influence can send us an email to I got my EP at gmail.com with the confirmation, the receipt, along with the snapshot of your um, purchase download, you'll be entered into a contest which we're going to have a live drawing so you can be in it to win an iPad mini or a 40-inch flat screen TV. 
So all you have to do is buy the EP from iTunes, send us the information, and you'll be entered to the contest. Amen, amen. Y'all heard her. Deborah Moore, thank you so much for joining us on Real Gospel. We really appreciate you and all that you do for the kingdom. God bless you, my sister. God bless you, and thank you so much for always supporting my mission. I love you guys.